Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to share some dominoes that I altered. I was watching YouTube, of course, and came across a tutorial by Luisa Diaz. Um, and she was making these altered dominoes. And I had altered dominoes before. Um, I used the alcohol inks and put, you know, these are the printable um, domino sheets you get. And I put some angels on there. My husband had drilled a couple for me and put holes and I made a charm or two. Um, I even embossed the edges like that has silver embossing on it. And this is my granddaughter. She's so cute. So I had played around. I made um, a domino book. A little. This is my steampunk domino book. Pretty cute. Like it. So I had played around with them. I um. So I had a whole bunch. I had at least like six of these done. They were just sitting in the box. Um, I oops. I use um. These are the six dot dominoes, and these I got these at Walmart. I don't know how many you get in here, but there's a lot. Um, so I got these. These are um, the little ones, and I did a couple of these too. These are from like Michaels in the bead section. They have holes in them. Like I think they're you can make a bracelet with them or something, string them together. But um, I altered a couple of these. So what you do is you get uh, some wings. Now there's the couple I used are, I think they're Kay and Company. This is the chipboard style. So these are definitely like more st substantial. And then there's these. These are just the dimensional stickers. Um, so there's, there's usually two or three layers of paper. And what I did with these was just put a little dab of glue in between each layer and just squeeze. And that way it made it a little more substantial so they weren't like as flimsy. So I made a couple with these and a couple with these. Um, Louisa actually also used feathers for her. She's very creative and she likes shabby chic. So this was, I copied this from her. Um, just put some feathers on there and then um, matched my little dangle to match it. But now it seems finished. So I had made this already. I had... Um, Actually, did I? I think I made that. I just put this one because you know what? This is a Copic. So I didn't alter the domino first. I just started with a, a plain domino and then I just used my Copic and went around the edges kind of to distress it. So you don't have, you can just start with a plain domino and put your image on and you're good. So that's one. And then this one was, I made the wings from, I used it was, I think, like an acrylic dragonfly, and I just took it apart and stuck the wings on there. And, I mean, it's okay. I like the dangle. This was, I got this in a, um, a dangle swap. So I thought that matched, and it was really pretty. So, I mean, that's okay. I personally prefer the more proportionate wings. Like, I'll show you in a minute. But this one was the second one I made. So, again, I'm just still playing. This is the um, chipboard wings. And I put stickles on them. And this is another dangle that I got in a swap, which is so cute and just matched perfect. I love this image. I'm probably going to find, I'm going to print another one of them out because I want to make one with more proportionate wings. I'll show you what I mean. And then this one's another one with big wings. And, oh, I can show you. Also, I told you my husband had drilled the holes for me. Um, and I didn't have, the rest of them weren't drilled. So what Louisa did, and a great tip that I'm going to pass on, is hot glue an eye pin to the bottom of the domino. And then you just dangle your dangle from that. And you could also put one on the top and put a chain on top too. I just made mine with these little hangers. But very cool. So that's, I just um, glossy accented those wings. Then these are the, some of the little ones that I made. This one is cute. And this is a chipboard um, wing. So I just, I covered the back of them with paper too so that they didn't look as, they kind of look nice from the back. Louisa had suggested that you could cover it. Um, so I just put ribbon. So that's a little one. That turned out cute. This one, because she's facing sideways, I just gave her one wing and made a little dangle for that. It's yellow. 
And then this one's cute. I like this one because see, it's more proportionate. See how the bigger wings, just like, I don't know. I think I just, my eye likes this better. It's just more proportionate to the angel. So I just like to match my dangles to the color of the wings and the color. So there was some, she was holding some roses. So I just put a few roses on that one and covered the back. And then this one's kind of like medium wings. So that looks okay too. I don't mind that. It's a little more proportionate. And I just went crazy with the colors on this one. I put like every color on this one. And then this one, even though this is a smaller domino, I still think those wings are maybe a little bit big for this one, proportionate wise. But I think it turned out pretty cute. And then this is a shabby chic one. Um, Louisa does shabby chic. I've never done shabby chic. But these are feathers. So I just like glued some feathers. I took apart some other little thing I got at Joann's. I forgot. And I just cut like kind of trimmed them down a little and put paint around the edges. And a little flower. I love that image. She's so cute. And then this one's my favorite. I just think the color combination, the proportion of the wings, the flowers, the everything. Like, I just, it just is so pretty. I really love this one. And I just, like I said, I put paper on the back of the wings, and then you just cut a piece of ribbon, and then there's a little trim that ties in with the colors. So cute. So... Yeah, I had all these made, so it, it didn't take much to just hot glue some wings on and everything. These, the dangles are what t take the most time. And I actually put a lot of beads on there. You don't have to put that many beads. Like, these actually are fine to just do, like, one dangle like that. That looks good. I like that. So, um, that's what I've been doing for the last couple days. And, um... I'm really happy I found that because, like I said, I had all these done, and they were just sitting in the box. They weren't really finished. I just didn't think they don't feel finished when they're like this. So um, now they have wings. Now they're little fairies. All right? I just wanted to share. They're so cute. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.